Hello and welcome back to Teacher Tycoon. In today's video, we are going to study a lesson from EVS 2 Class 5, Maharashtra Board, Chapter 4, Evolution. In this lesson, we are going to understand the concept of evolution, the different stages of evolution of animals and what are apes. So without wasting any time, let's start with the lesson. So let's understand what is evolution. There's a theory that says that all the different kind of animals or living things, plants and animals which are living today are existing today are developed from earlier types. The simplest form of life arose at least 3.5 billion years ago. Over a time, they evolved into millions of other species and all the living things that are alive today so basically evolution means what a gradual and continuous change a change that is slow but continuous sometimes the original species dies out or becomes extinct sometimes more than one species evolve from the original one first scientist to give us a systematic explanation of the concept of evolution was Charles Darwin. So on the screen you can see that's Charles Darwin. He was a British naturalist born in the year 1809. He was known for his famous work on the origin of species. The species which are capable of adapting to the environmental changes are able to survive. The ones that cannot do so become extinct in the process of evolution. Animals which you can see on the screen were not able to adapt, were not able to adjust with the changes in the environment and they were not able to survive and that's why they were extinct. They are no more today. The animals are dodo, Tasmanian wolf, mammo, passenger pigeon. In ancient times, there were many species of a type of animal called dinosaurs. Dinos in Greek means terrible and seros means lizard or reptile. That means dinosaur means a terrible lizard. Some of these dinosaurs were enormous, very huge in size. They were being found everywhere in water, flying dinosaurs, they were, they were animal eating dinosaurs, they were plant eating dinosaurs and so many other. A question that comes in every student's mind is, how come when the dinosaurs are not there, alive how scientists discovered about dinosaur it, it was because of the fossils that were found in different parts of our world so what are fossils fossils are the remains or trace of plants and animals that live long ago fossils of dinosaur with wings have been discovered it is believed that some species of two-legged and winged dinosaur evolved into birds the stage of evolution of animals we have learned in the previous lesson that life on earth began with unicellular organism known as protozoa these unicellular organism gave rise to the multicellular living thing multicellular organism evolved gradually and various classes of plants and animals came into being slowly this unicellular organism gave rise to a multicellular organism and slowly in that multicellular place, organism which evolved into different classes of plant and animals as in class 5 you are going to study about human beings we are going to see only the classes of animals Basically, animals are divided into two major classes, invertebrates and vertebrates, depending upon the backbone. So, invertebrates are the animals with the backbone. For example, snail and earthworm. There are many more. Can you name them down below in the comment box? Vertebrates. Vertebrates are the animals which have a backbone like dog, frog and many more. So children, can you see which animals are there on the screen? Yes, can you name them from right side to the left side? 
yeah it is a fish a frog a snake a polar bear and a flamingo do you think all these animals stay together do do you think that do they stay together in one place no birds they usually fly isn't it polar bear they live in a cold atmosphere on land snakes they live they crawl snakes crawl on the land frogs they sometimes are in water and sometimes are and sometimes on land and fish they are always in water it's the animals which have backbone are been classified into five different classes fishes that is aquatic amphibians reptiles birds and mammals so let's see what are aquatic animals aquatic animals are the animals that live in water they can either live in fresh water such as lake and rivers or ponds or salty water like ocean or seas amphibians amphibians are the animals which live both on water salamander frogs are some of the examples reptiles the animals that crawl on the land are called reptiles tortoise crocodile alligator turtle snake lizards are reptiles birds birds are the animals which have wings and they can fly some can fly very high like eagle and some animals they don't fly they just fl- they have wings but they don't fly can you name that animal if yes please comment down below and the last class is the mammals mammals are the most evolved animals among all the vertebrates mammals are supposed to be the most changed most modified animals among all the vertebrate classes can you name the mammals tigers bear wolf bull dog cat so many so let's see what are the characteristics of the mammals the following are the characteristics of most of the mammals first growth of the baby in the mother's womb mother's womb means in the mother's stomach for some time before the birth and second the baby is fed on mother's milk for some times after birth but there is an exception to it there are two animals platypus and the some and some species of anteater are exception to this why are they exception to this they are considered mammals even though they lay eggs they are the animals which lay eggs but why they are considered as mammals because the young one suckle on them suckle means they feed their young ones apes now what are apes let's study about apes apes are somewhat like human in appearance they mostly live on trees those species of apes which continue to live on tree retain their original ape like form apes are what does some they are animals which somewhere look like humans in appearance and they basically live on mostly most of the time they live on trees so the apes which are still living on tree have a ape like form however in grassland some apes were forced to move around on the ground this species evolved gradually and in time gave rise to the human species so humans were evolved from apes this happened first on the african continent the first human species is called the primitive man where primitive means the first i hope you have understood the lesson you see the evolution of human didn't occur in one or two years or 100 or 200 years it took thousands and thousands of years for apes to be evolved as humans so if you want to know what happened next with humans you have to subscribe to my channel as in the coming week i will be uploading a new video where we will be studying about all the different stages of 
apes to humans we are going to stage in detail and understand what evolution took place what changes took place and apes were evolved to humans so if you like the video and you have understood the lesson please hit the like button do share it with your family and friend so so that you can enrich their knowledge as well till then we meet again take care and bye bye